so we've learned, learned the first order rate equation the integrated rate equation rather and now let us come back and learn the units for the first order rate equation as well as the half life period we've also done the same in zero order reaction so please practice it as i said you need to learn the complete topic when you're learning in integrated rate equation so here when i come back to the units of the first order let us first write what is rate constant so what is rate constant according to what we have derived rate constant is equal to 2.303 divided by <coughs> divided by log r not by r this is what we have got for first order uh, rate equation in the first order rate equation so now let us write uh, the units now k they are now this is 2.303 okay fine so time can be measured in your t can be either seconds or minutes or hours isn't it that is what it is uh, mentioned in the form of seconds minutes or hours now here this has become log concentration by concentration correct right? so we very well know r not by r or a by a minus x all these are dimensionless quantities correct right? so what did i say just now i said there are they are dimensionless quantities yeah and quantities fine even mole per liter mole per liter it's the same right get, they get cancelled so dimensionless quantity so what factor is left out this is ruled out now this is okay fine so we are left out only with this so basically when you're writing this is ruled out this is also okay uh, 2.303 that value now only thing left is t so what do we have we have 1 by t which is which can be measured as either seconds it can be measured as minute or it can be measured as r so for the first order kinetics the units are k is equal to time inverse or second inverse or minute inverse or r inverse so this is your unit for your first order reaction First order, these are the units. So please note it. Hope you would have understood. This is dimensionless quantity. So the leftover quantity is only time. So the time I very well know can be measured in seconds, minutes, and hours. So I've written that unit. So when I come back to the half-life calculation, so what did we say? What is half-life? Half-life is the time required to convert or time required for the con concentration of the reactants to just get half means half of the concentration of the reactants initial concentration of the reactant r naught by 2 right so when i come back take the same reaction or equation sorry equation 2.303 by now t has become t half because we are calculating half life isn't it so t has become t half now log <coughs> r naught now r not now when t has become t half your r becomes r not by 2 that is what we said the concentration half of its initial concentration yes now it, it, it write that r not by 2 simple <coughs> now here when i take this k is equal to 2.303 by t half same now what is this log this is 1 by 1 by 2 right so 1 by 1 by 2 is log 2 so what is log 2 value it is 0 0.3010 isn't it yeah now substitute this value here so k is equal to 2.303 divided by t half into 3010 what do you get when you multiply k value is equal to 0 0.693 by t half now i have to find out t half so t half is equal to 0 0.693 by k this is your half life for the first order rate so where we have please practice the integrated rate equation units as well as half life calculation because all these will be useful for your numericals Yes, so we have learnt the zero order rate equation, we have learnt the half calculation of half life period, then we have also seen the units for zero order reaction, then we also studied about graphical representation of zero, uh, sorry, uh, first order reaction, I am sorry, we are speaking about first order, so we have learnt rate equation, then we have done with the half life period of first order, then units and then graphical representation. Now let us start with the numericals of your uh, uh, first order rate equation, let us read this, simple, I am going from the basic simple example to 
let us see a bit complicated uh, uh, numericals so a, a reaction has a half life of t, uh, 10 minutes so as soon as this such question is given to you write the data given to you so given data is half life t half is given to me as 10 minutes i'm doing the basic simple example and calculate the rate constant for the first order i have to calculate k yes we know the formula for rate constant t half is equal to 0 0.693 by k right so t half is given so k is equal to 693 by t half is 10 minutes so when you solve this simple 0 0.0693 minutes simple let's come back to this in first order rate equation the concentration of the reactant is reduced from 0.6 to 0.2 Right. They've given me a by a a by a minus six, isn't it? That is r naught by r in five minutes. So they've given this data. So given as the concentration was initially how much from r naught six mole per liter, r was 0.2 mole per liter. What is time given? T is equal to five minutes. I have to calculate k yes simple first write the rate equation what is first order rate equation k is equal to 2.303 by t log r naught by r simple now substitute the values k is equal to 2.303 by 5 minutes yeah now log 0.6 by 0.2 So, how much this comes to? This comes to 0.6 by 0.2 comes to 3, isn't it? So, k is equal to 2.303 by 5 log 3. So, log 3 is 0 0.4771. So, substitute over it. Since log 3 is 0 0.4771, substitute that value here. k is equal to 2.303 by 5 into 0 0.4771. Finally, you get an answer of uh, 0 0.2197. <coughs> so, 2197 minutes because this is 5 minutes, isn't it? This is also 5 minutes. When this goes above, this becomes minute. In this. So, this is the answer.